Welcome to Green Acres, the place to be for education, generative agriculture, and the fine arts. Let's see how the magic of Green Acres can transform you today. Hello, my name is Jaina, and I am an environmental educator here at Green Acres. Today, we are at the water quality site, and I wanna show you ways that you can explore the forest. So right now, we're surrounded by big trees, and we notice these big things that are in nature in these habitats, like our big sycamore trees, or the beautiful plants and flowers around us. But did you know that there are lots of things to explore right here on the forest floor? We have lots of different micro habitats right by our feet, like these fallen logs or the leaf litter. So before we get started, I wanna ask, what is a habitat? If you said a habitat was a place where a plant or an animal lives, you're correct. So this log right here is a micro habitat and it provides shelter, food, and a place for animals to stay safe. So when we roll logs, we're gonna make sure that we do it very carefully and that we do it towards us. That way, if we get scared by any of the critters that are underneath, we don't accidentally drop the log on top of them. All right, so I'm very carefully rolling this log and I'm gonna take a second to let my eyes adjust and see if I can see anything moving. I found a little sow bug right here. The gray little bugs right here, you might know them as um, roly polies or pill bugs. We also have a millipede right over here. These millipedes love to bulldoze their way through the leaf litter and eat up that leaf litter to help it turn back into good healthy soil for our forest floor. When I'm done looking and if I picked up any of these critters, I'm gonna make sure I put those critters in front of the log so that they don't get crushed when I carefully roll the log back over. Let's go check out another log. All right, so let's check out what's underneath this log right here. So again, I'm gonna roll it towards me very carefully. And if you're lucky enough, you might find a salamander. So salamanders are really cool. Amphibians. And this guy is a redback salamander. So he lives in the woods and he actually is lungless. So they breathe through their skin. That's why when we handle them, we wanna make sure that our hands are wet. So he's hanging out underneath this log so that he can eat up any little critters that are underneath here. So he would be a predator in his habitat. So I'm gonna put my friend down in front of the log so that when I roll the log back over, I am not hurting him and he will find his way back underneath when he's ready. So I hope you had fun and you learned something new today. Now it's your turn to go out and explore the world around you. I hope that you will share your pictures and your questions with me at the address listed below. Thanks again for joining me at Green Acres, the place to be.